they've cut off everybody, and that shows this this idea. It's almost like the script, yeah. like the UFO cover up live, where it's all scripted, where everybody stays on script, nobody goes off script. You, the only people that are allowed to interview are the people that we allow. So, so Leslie Kane does interviews. You you allow one interview with Rogan, nobody else. That's we don't it. want everybody going off script. We don't want uh, Lorian doing a story and quoting Tom DeLonge and screwing the thing up or whatever. Yeah, it's you, all we don't so want her digging controlled. into this past and bringing it out to uh, on my audience. <laughs> it's yeah. like what he said in the past. No, we don't want that. That's right. And uh, now, yeah. Grant, I, I, at now, this can point, I, what I – yeah, I need to just hold on one second. Here's what I wanted to I'm ask I'm going to jump in on this, you guys. I have, yeah. I have stuff to say. I got – I sure you do. I got one question for both of you, and I'm going to answer it first because my problem with the whole thing, Grant, is I understand what they're doing, and I get it, and I did catch the fact that they disclosed in that. But my problem with it, again, as you both know, is that I cannot stand an external force that has really nothing to do with the whole UFO community, like boots on the ground, like Grant, Melinda, and Lorian. Like we live this every day of our lives. Lives, right? These guys pop in and decide how they're going to control what we are, are hearing from them. And they and they what's so bizarre to me, Grant, is that they disclosed during that, that conference and nobody ever talked about it. See, that's how much mind control plays in this and social media and how they're controlling all of our uh, all of how we're supposed to think about this. And it's making me crazy. I can't stand it. It makes me nuts. So, Grant, let's let's start with Melinda first. Melinda, That's what fun. is your take on what they're doing, and how did you react well, to it? <clears throat> I think everyone needs to keep it in mind. And, and you said disclosure right then, and a couple of minutes ago in this conversation, Lorianne, you said, you know, about being disclosure. What we right. have to remember is there's disclosure with a capital D, and then there's soft dis disclosure. Well, true. What we're getting here is soft disclosure. This is not an overnight deal. This is a 40- or 50-year plan that we're wow. in the middle of. Okay? That's true. So this, this, is, this is not everything overnight. This is, I agree that with Grant that this may be an attempt to start to bring some of the technologies and whatnot into the white world, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it, but right. it could be their attempt to start that process. But um, separately, it, it is soft disclosure, and, um, and, and everyone needs to remember. And, and when I say everyone, I mean both of you guys and, and your audience, <clears throat> that the whole point to the working group and their involvement all along, and about every five years or so, they, they roll out another program, or multiple programs, as Grant has been quick to say. Um, and this is just the, the current program. They, uh -huh. A lot of their attempts to do this before went so far, and then they pulled back. This is brand new. Let's see how long it keeps going. It might get pulled back as well. Um, but the, the point being that ufology is being manipulated from behind the scenes. You were just saying, oh, I hate when these guys come in, you know, these seemingly outsiders. Lorianne, these aren't ufology outsiders at all. I know they these aren't. Guys, a lot of I these know. guys have been very, very active in ufology from the get-go. Well, that's true. I mean, I, I'm just saying, but are they, are, I don't know. I just, I don't like being manipulated, so, Melinda. I hate it. Well, but the thing is, it's been manipulated for 50 years. I so, know. So, yeah, we, we don't like it, but it's the way ufology works, you know, or the way it doesn't work, as the case may be. But, you know, yeah. But I don't have we, to accept We've been it. manipulated from the get-go that, that, that the you follow, UFOs and the presence of others <clears throat> and the technology associated with it is so significant that it has been an intelligence-run operation from the get-go that the government slash shadow government have been involved with this subject matter, with the ETs, with the development of the technology, you know, from pre-Roswell, you know. <clears throat> I mean, it's 
that's what 70 years and yeah. there's evidence that they've been involved before then that's exactly. how they had all the procedures in place at Roswell they weren't trying to reinvent the wheel with Roswell they knew how to handle the situation because they had handled even situations prior to that you bet and so all along this has been manipulated and controlled one of the members of the of the working group once said to me and I've been researching this and I applaud that Grant has been on to it for Grant I don't know when you first stumbled onto them and and got involved with the aviary and everything but you know whatever it's been uh, my research associate and I, and I, we've talk, you and I have talked about this, have been involved with in, in this for about 28, 29 years now. I'd say 28 years. And, um, and really, I would say very hardcore um, working at it for 25 years. But, but again, the whole point being is it's a study in how ufology has been manipulated all along. And as I started to say, one of these guys, I always call it the we're in it to spin it speech, you know, they, he said, we're involved in ufology to direct it and steer it where we want it to go and steer it away from where we don't want, you know, and, and so they've been involved in that way ever since. Um, and he also said we answer to a bigger umbrella group. I have never thought the working group was the current incarnation of, you know, MJ-12 or something. I, I don't think so. Um, it, it, that they answer to a, a, a bigger umbrella group and that they're just one branch of it, but they're one branch of it that is specifically active in ufology in the UFO field and in manipulating the UFO field, manipulating certain ufologists, certain directions, leaking stuff when they want it leaked, spinning it back away from that when they don't want it. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me, guys. And anyway, so, um, I, and I want people to understand that, that, you know, that's the point. When we're following the DeLong story and the To the Stars Academy, that's just the, the, the current thing that they're involved in. You know, you can go back to, um, of course, the formation of the aviary and a meeting that took place uh, May 21st, 1985, as maybe an official formation, but they pre-existed that. Uh, I had when Colonel Corso was alive and Bill Burns was still very much involved with him. When I had talked to Bill about some of my research in this early on and Corso was still alive, he went to Corso and Corso said, oh yeah, I was involved in that even prior to that, blah, blah, blah. And knew a prehistory of the group going back long before 85 that he was involved in. You know, right. and uh, and one of these days I got to pick Bill Burns' brain about what exactly did Corso say about that prehistory, and who else was involved, and what to what capacity he was, and and how did he know about it becoming the working group as we know it now? Mm-hmm. And of course, the aviary was just a name thrown on by Morin Chandere, who said, "Well, we're working with these guys, and so we know what we're talking about." And so, you know, and they do, you know, we'll come up with these stupid bird names. A group will call it the aviary and give everyone bird names because that was their way of talking about it <clears throat> without, um, without, you know, saying the, the the names of the members, you know, back then because they didn't want to leak that because they didn't want to scare these guys off and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so it made sense back then to give them all these code names, hence the terminology aviary. This group never called themselves the Avery. It's all kind of a big joke to them now, but, you know, but that's true. But it was that was more in Chandray calling, calling who they're involved with at the time in the working group these names. Yeah. And the working hey, group Melinda, has had. So let, yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, if, if you've got a, a conclusion you're coming to, that's great. But I want to make sure Grant gets his answer in on how he feels about these guys running our narrative. Okay. Well, I, I basically summed up that that main point I wanted to make. Right, and also we did. We, I, I had Grant methodically for the first hour go through the history of all this. So we did a lot of history tonight. So you'd be proud of him. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so Grant, what's your take on it? How do you feel about them controlling what you and I do on a daily basis? He who has the gold makes the rules. <laughs> there you run, go. They're running. 
And, yeah. But but more 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 to the point, the way I look at it, and I think Melinda can sort of back me up. I mean, I know who Melinda's talking about here, and so I'd ask Melinda, are these good guys or bad guys? Yeah. They're they're good guys that that are facing a situation like even even we're covering up their names we're covering up their names because oh we got some justified reason why we are not going to name who these people are who we're talking about and i know these people and i think that they're just people who are doing the best they can with what they've got and and so they're manipulating yes but you got to remember that they're 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 the aliens are doing exactly the same thing. Exactly. They're not disclosing. They could land on the White House lawn and tell us what's going on anytime they want. Or they could cover up. They could just turn the lights off on the flying saucers and quit allowing uh, abductees to remember what's going on and stuff like that. And, and just sort of do it you know, quietly. So everybody's doing the cover up. And, and it almost comes down to what Kit Green did. He had an interview when the, the um, what, what do they call it, the uh, Mirage Men did the interview with him. And they said, uh, they were talking about the Serpo thing, and he said, oh, no, don't throw it, Serpo. There's classified material in there. And he said, you got to realize, what would you do if you had to run this thing? And so I always look at it with them is that they're, they're guys, and we know who some of these people are. They're friends of ours who were involved in this, and they were guys who thought they were saving the world. They were they were doing the, the best they could, and maybe it was the wrong thing to do. Maybe it was the right thing to do. But I, I see these people as... Um, um, like I mean, so I would ask the question to um, Lorian: What would you do if you were had this situation? What would you do? Would okay. you just drop the whole thing and on the public? I, I just I'm going to say one other quick thing about that. Then I'm going to go back and answer your question. Ask <laughs> um um uh oh God, it just went out of my head. Our buddy um in Colorado, come on, Stan. Ask Stan how he feels about this. I mean, Stan Romanak. I mean, you know, you you guys say that all oh, these guys are, you know, doing whatever, but look what they did to Stan. I mean, and look what well, they've done the, to in all the Wendell my Stevens. Cases. And, yeah, I mean, yeah. you got to think about it, Grant. I, I, I'm, I'm still pissed off that, about the fact that they retaliate against people they decide they don't want talking. You know, yeah. I mean, it's got to be these guys or the guys above them doing that. You know, so okay, so yeah, what would I well, do? Well, okay, yeah, go ahead. But no, I would, I would just say you, you got to remember that I'm a Canadian, and you guys dropped two atomic bombs, and you killed over a million people in Iran, and and people make decisions like that where they say we got to do this, and, and it's like these, the story of the dropping the atomic bombs. The the embedded journalist from the New York Times wrote, and when he was flying back on the plane, he said they had it coming. So make people do these decisions, but they still think that they're saving the world. Yeah. They, they, this guy's out of control. He's got to do this. And people, there's a lot of people in government who will do these kind of things, the same as countries will do things that we think in Canada are like totally insane. But like, Grant, I think we're at a doing? point. You, you know, you and I, I know it matters so much to us about consciousness and that part of this. At That's some point, true. you have to start saying no. You know that this is not acting out of higher consciousness. I don't think the guy. For ourselves. You know, it, we, can and, only, we can only control ourselves. You can't, yeah, yes, you can't. yes. That's but true. I, I think we can't excuse away bad behavior that is that has had a lot of uh, very overt criminal activity. You know, yeah. um, it, it, you know, their their actions have been criminal in many ways, um, and and ufology has been led around by the nose and lied to by these guys. And these guys are in, embedded in ufology in a way that ufology doesn't even but, know that they're being lied to and misled. And but, and that and me, that one me, of these primary guys said to me, we're in it to spin it. I mean, ufology doesn't, you know, thinks that they're best friends with these guys and not realizing that this is a problem. It is a problem. These guys have an agenda, and that agenda is not about the truth. It's about their version of the truth which is either never or so slow, so deliberate, that meanwhile we're on a petroleum-based economy and ruining the world in a way that we don't need to. So it's like, wait a second, no, no, no. I think, I think if ufology makes excuses for these guys, it's like, oh, it's okay, we're little children, we need to be lied to, that's okay. No, no, I it's agree. not okay. We've been manipulated, we've been lied to, um, and, and, uh, and and we got to realize that you know you you know everyone's always like oh we're embedded there's intelligence insiders yeah they run some of our organizations 
You know, we need to question that. You know, we need to question the motive of these people, you know, and and everyone's glad to have their little, you know, I, I, I always call it like their uh, Swiss Army knife, uh, you know, whistleblower in their back pocket, their little insider. We've all got our little insider in our back pocket, like, you know, like that's like your, your good luck charm or that's your e-ticket in or I'm somebody important because I interface with this insider, this whistleblower. Or how about and it's it's, like, that's enough to keep me alive? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, but 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 the point being, it's like, you guys, some of these, their agenda is not about the truth. It's not about disclosing today. It's not about disclosing the fucking next ten years. I don't think, you know. I, I, and it's like we, you know, we. Pardon my language, but you know, we have to question this and question these guys' involvement. I mean, I know them too, and I I'll sing every name except maybe one, you know. But that's only because I'm currently talking to them. And I don't want him to be scared away from talking to me when... Yeah, but you're, justif- you're justifying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, that's, justifying well I'm justifying too. getting they information have, have, from him. And, and, but that's and what they're justifying. So far, they're I'm justifying getting information the from him. You know? material. They, they think that they're, they're saving the world. I say the same thing, that they, they don't... None of these guys think they're well, bad but guys. But in so the I'm case... Gonna bad guy. I'm gonna go, they think we have to do this. We've got to shut down Romanek. We've got to shut down uh, Benowitz. Okay, We've, right. This yeah, guy's yeah. exposing the fact that there's uh, UFOs over the nuclear weapons storage area. And they, you're manipulated on everything that ever happens. You're Like, p- people are sheeples. Everything that they do, they manipulate you on. It's not yeah, just that's UFOs. True. That's it's true. every that's subject. True. No, of course. Of course. But, yeah. but again, yeah. we, I, think, I think we're not just... I think we're justifying bad behavior that is not about the truth it's not about informing people now and and you know and and i think we're so what would you do though? on tricky would you do? Grand, would you ground if it? we do that you know i just think i i, I just i mean well, as far as as far as there being a 40-year disclosure plan or 50 or whatever the hell it is i'm i guess that makes sense i, I know where you're going with that argument i guess that makes sense what I'm saying is to the degree well, that ufology is manipulated and spun and people are put out of commission or are given attention when it's useful, you know, and, and ufology needs to know it's being used and manipulated and be more aware of that. Um, and anyway, so that I'm, I, I guess that's my point. So what would you do? Yeah, Melinda. What would you You're do? In charge. You're in what charge. You do? Okay, you get to you get to uh, go to Stan and have him beaten up. Well, I mean, we ask, we put these guys' feet to the fire, and we say, you know, um, we have to hold them to to the truth, and we have to question what they've done in their past and their backgrounds, and and demand more from them or kick them out of ufology and say... No, but you're the president. Would, would you expose... No, I'm not all, all talking the, about the 40-year the... disclosure plan. That's that's different. No, no. I'm Grant's just talking asked, about the manipulation. Melinda, Melinda, Grant's asking you, if you were the president of the United States, what would you do? Well, I, would, would I wouldn't be the president because the... I'd disclose. Ah, I, I, that's an easy answer. You, you, <laughs> you, would, you would disclose all the people that were killed and, and what you did and... And take yeah. responsibility for all the stuff that happens? Yeah, yeah. Because I think that's, Good as a human you. race, we have to start doing that. Otherwise, we're just I, I totally living in life. Yeah, I totally agree Otherwise, with her, Grant. Yeah, Otherwise, we're just living in life. Well, I've got to stop somewhere. And and it's got to stop with someone yeah. have the balls to speak the truth and take the consequences for it. But it, but it's like you have you've had fourteen administrations, seven Republican, seven Democrat, and it's sort of like but you know. We, Grant, we're they're not keeping the truth because I don't think you can handle. They're keeping the truth. From you for financial reasons because they're profiting from it. This is about no one wants their reasons. little black project to die. No one wants their underground bases to go around to go away and their trillion it's, dollar it's black military. budgets. It's always military. And, In the United the United States is the only country that does this. It's all military. Yeah. It's about separation. It's belief that that there's evil people out there and we can't give the technology to the evil people. Yeah. And they actually believe this crap. They actually and, believe and, that there's evil the, the Mexicans good old who are raping people. No and, joke. No joke. It's the good old fashioned military industrial complex. Or the the attitude, just the American attitude, like Canada. We are now the bad guys. We're we're trying to steal all your jobs, and and we're going to shut down NAFTA, and and we're the bad guys. And it's just this bad guy thing all the time. And we've got to protect 
all this stuff from the bad guys and everybody buys into it. Why do you have like the $700 billion defense budget? Everybody goes along with it because everybody's playing the fear card. Mm -hmm. Everybody's so scared that, you know, that there's the bad Chinese and the bad Arabs. And the, and we North all, Korean and, and Lorraine will love this. It's all about the mind control because it's really all about profit. That's right. That's it's, what it's all about, about corporate profit. End. It's all about corporate it's profit. It's all about right? money. And that's what America's about. That's what America's about. Forget about corporate profit. It's all about material in the United States. It's all about the toys. Well, it's about I wouldn't Christmas. say just the about... United States. Oh, in all absolutely. fairness, Canada too. Yeah, I don't. I don't oh, see no, any Canadians Canada standing too, no. up and disclosing. You know. No. Oh no! Well, wait Canadian, a minute, Paul Hellyer's doing a very good job of it. He's doing really well. Paul, yeah, but he's not what he was Paul, currently Paul, in the position. Now that his now that his voice doesn't matter. You know. Yeah, well. Yeah, he he did he didn't know anything. I knew him in the in the seventies. He told me clearly he was busy uh, amalgamating the the armed forces. He didn't know what was going on. It was only when when his son came, his son-in-law came to him and said, "We wait, we're reading that stupid book on Corso four And he said, "What do you mean?" And then the son it was working for this general, and the general said, uh, "Tell your your father-in-law to phone me." And he phones, and that's when the general said, it's all real and more. That's when so he suddenly found Jesus and started running yeah. down Grant, this thing about now, UFOs. But before then, he didn't believe Okay, it. now, wait a minute. I talked to Paul at the, at the 2015 <clears throat> MUFON conference in L.A. Yeah. Paul basically told me, he said, Lorian, I had a sighting. I was out at the cabin, and the UFO came over the lake, and, you know, who knows what they did to him. You know? Oh yeah, he believes. I mean, I'm not. No, but that. I mean, he's a contactee. A Let's put it that way. I'm pretty sure he is. Oh yeah, but 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 he but he 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 didn't have any interest until he was reading the Corso book. Right. Until then, he really didn't have any interest in UFOs because I confronted him. I, I had this situation where I was in Washington D.C. where he he said I need to talk to you, and I had he had put out the story that he had done this famous lecture in 1967 in St. Paul, Alberta, where he opened the UFO landing base for this Centennial Project, this town, but it built a UFO landing base, and he gives a speech, and then he said, oh, it was the uh, it was the Royal Canadian Mounted Police guy who gave him the information, and he couldn't remember the guy's name, and I put it on my website, it's like, oh, come on, I mean, this is the top expert on UFOs, and he can't remember the guy's name, and so he's, that's when he said, I want to have breakfast with you, and he comes down with these files under his arm, and he said, Mr. Cameron, I may be many things, one of them is I'm not a liar, and I go, holy <laughs> shit, what did I say, you know, and I realized what I had said, and then he said, I, he says, I, I did not even write that speech. Someone wrote it for me. I don't even remember giving the speech. And so it was, I was confronting him on this thing that he had given this speech that said that the Canadians had opened a base for UFOs to land in 1954. But after 54, the Canadians are just saluting. They're just handing it off to the Americans. Right. The same as most other countries yep. are handing it off. Well, the Canadians, people always ask me, what's going on in Canada? I said, I've got the foggiest notion what's going on in Canada. None. <laughs> well, thank God for all the leaks in the Tom DeLonge groups down here. We could just watch them shake and bake, right, you guys? <laughs> yeah. But there that's, go, that's still go. an American but... phenomena of leaks. Like, there are no leaks in Canada. <laughs> there, are, there are no whistleblowers running around and leaked documents. And Same in Europe and uh, Australia. The United States of America is the only place that this happens, where you have, you know, Tom DeLonge and all these, you know, Avery and... And then they start the aquarium. Dan Smith starts the aquarium. So when it came down, we started the the thing with cats. So we all we all called cats. And I was the I was the putty tat, and there was you know it was a stray cat, and they, all the different cats. I mean they were playing these stupid games. But the United States is the the one place. That it seems like they control this whole phenomena. But it's always the sort of the the military is running. Well, and the show. you may you may have said something right there. You may have you may have said it. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, you That's what the mute right button's there. for, Melinda. Okay, I know. I, I apologize. Okay, you may have you may have have said it right there that the U.S. controls it, and it could be that it because of the whether it was the biggest military worldwide at the time, what well, was you know, uh, or um, the, the money was there. Or, or the intelligence, because it started with naval intelligence, um, that it could have been when there was a worldwide decision to keep the lid on this and to investigate it further and develop the technology and do the crash retrievals, et cetera, et cetera, that it fall under, fell under U.S. jurisdiction. I think there's... Um, some history in ufology, you know, to, to show that. 
Now, um, I would need to ask someone else in ufology exactly maybe why that was, but I probably just touched on some of it, whether we have the intelligence apparatus in place or the biggest military or whatever. And we're talking back in like the 30s and 40s when it, when the jurisdiction for management of this either was assumed by the U.S. or handed to the U.S. by the rest of the world. I am because uh, it's Belinda, a, I can tell you right yes. now, it was never handed to the U.S. The U.S. decided they were going to manage it. It's that simple. And they but everybody threat- else seemed to go along with it, you know. Well, because- I'm sure everybody else is being threatened by us that they had to go yeah, along. Well, with okay, it. okay. But, but so my point, yeah. But I'm going to say one more thing. I believe that the U.S. also said, if we get anything out of this, we will also give you a piece, a small sliver of the pie of technology. Yeah. If we do get anything, you know, I'm oh, not sure, sure there was probably same, yeah. deals made, yeah. you know, I'm sure deals yeah, made, same but way, same as with, with NATO. I mean, the United yeah. States runs NATO. It's yeah. like everybody reports to them and, yeah. and you get to, you know, the spin off and we get to protect you and, and this whole operation where it's a convenient a way that that it's operated. I think the the Russians are working independent, and the Chinese are working independent. But the, but for the for the sort of the free world, the the Western world, I think it's basically you can even see with with the uh, this the case in um, Bolivia with the um, with the aliens, the live aliens, where they come walking in there, and they say we're going we'll allow a Brazilian on the space shuttle, and they walk off with the body, the the live aliens and the craft yeah. and the the whole bit that that there's all these quid pro quo that you can put yes. a lot of pressure on a country yeah. and say, we're going to cut off this, we're going to cut off that. Right. And everybody just goes along with yeah. it because it's almost like the the people, it's easier just to let someone else run the thing rather than doing it yourself. Yeah, yeah. so I think it's safe to say that that's, that that's what happened. So it fell, uh, whether the U.S. assumed it or it fell on combination, but that they, that they have been running it um, and everyone else's answers to them about this. Um, you know, it, 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 you know, we it shows too to some degree. If you kind of step back and you go, well, wait a second, if they've been doing that from the go, a lot of this, oh well, you know, Cold War with Russia and you know, Cold War with China, and you know, is every is all just smoke and mirrors because you realize, well, wait a second, they've been answering to us all along on these bigger subjects, you know, and the rest of that just becomes. Literally, a, a, the hand puppets and a play for, you know, <laughs> so so Tell that you'll back it. military actions with money and you know blah blah blah. So you know, and it, it and it, it just helps you realize how it really works, <clears throat> you know. And and, and I, I'm not saying I agree with any of it. It just it seems to be just the way it is. So, um, yeah. Well, you, you know, guys, I want to you know, ask you something, Grant. Oh, go ahead. I want to. Uh, um, switching subject just a little bit all of a sudden it seems like uh, you know Doty uh, Richard or Rick Doty is out there I, I, and I jokingly say he's not quite singing like a canary but he is humming <laughs> like a canary you know and so why is he out there humming like a canary I'm one you know I mean obviously he's a member of this group always has been it, it seems to be different than you have the, the whole Don ITS and what's going on there at the same time, you've got the remnants of the Rockefeller initiative stuff going on. You've certainly got to resurface. I'm hearing Firmage's name come up again and yeah. ISSO or whatever the new incarnation of that's going to be. You know, and so obviously these guys have their hands in a couple different pots at once. But Doty seems like, well, he's saying I'm 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 saying these things on behalf of these guys. He's he's not saying I'm going against them. But he seems to be kind of like this lone guy out there, and I'm like, you know, I, I, I just find it curious who green lighted Doty to suddenly be yapping about this. And then he's also been saying in recent interviews, "Well, I've been saying all this stuff all along." Well, no, it's just That's all of a sudden true. you're getting a tremendous yeah. amount of attention for it. Or if you were saying it, you were saying it on the down low. But you know, it just seems like it's there's suddenly he's out there a bunch and and on the increase and. I was just wondering what your thoughts on. I mean, I guess I answered my own question. It's just, it's just part of it, and it's part of the the soft disclosure. But it's just interesting. It seems like he was definitely greenlighted somewhere. 
Oh, absolutely. As I said, everybody's talking about Tom DeLonge. There are six operations going on at this yeah. very present. I was offered an in on one of the operations, and one of them was this operation with this documentary thing in Hollywood with six parts, and they were going to do the the Avery, and, and Collins mm-hmm. was involved, and uh, they went and interviewed uh, Richard Doty, they went and interviewed Bigelow, they interviewed Firmage, mm-hmm. and, and all these names that I heard that they were interviewing. And so it's it's one of the disclosures that he's maybe uh, Pandolfi has um, sort of greenlighted uh, all these different things. He's very close friends with Kit Green, and uh, Kit Green tells this famous story that 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 Doty passed the lie detector test after UFO cover up live the day after really? in counterintelligence. This fa- famous story that that this big uh, with the guys that wrote wrote the Roswell report stormed out of the office. Uh, where Kit Green was saying he had passed this lie detector test, mm-hmm. and then this Kit Green also tells the story that that he had this very secret meeting with Helms. I don't know if you ever heard this story. Is very secret, and he got the code word wrong. He was supposed to give this code word, and that Helms told him believe everything Richard Doty tells you on UFOs. Mm-hmm. So this whole thing is 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 Richard Doty the bad guy that he that that everybody's sort of made him out to be. Or is he a guy that is playing a role? He's always played this role. Oh, sure. And when I heard him do that interview, that hour and a half interview with um, Stephen Greer, and I talked to the producer, uh, Stephen Greer, saying, and they said, oh, we, we made him confess. And it's like, what? That's not what I heard when I heard him talking. <laughs> and some of the stuff that Doty was saying in there was stuff that only I knew, this very secret meeting they had had in the Midwest before UFO Cover Up Live, where yeah. the producer for UFO Cover Up Live was so scared, he thought he was going to die. He Suddenly, all these high-level people, and they're on this lake, and they're this bizarre meeting that takes place in the middle of the night and stuff like that. And Doty's talking about this meeting. I'm going like, wow, yeah. this meeting actually did take place. So I start hearing Doty, and I'm thinking, he actually sounded a lot better. I fought with him in the 1980s. I thought he was this big counterintelligence, you know, bad guy type thing. And I'm thinking, well, maybe he's actually playing his role. That they, they brought yeah. him back out. That they're they're because to me it's all been initiated in the last two years. There's no doubt in the last two years this thing has spiraled right unbelievably out of control. And it happened when when Barack Obama gave an interview to GQ magazine, and that's when he said the UFO files are not as top secret as you think they are. And when a president talks about something, it's green lighted, it's declassified, and this thing gave it the green light. And there's all I it's, for me it's hour to hour the the stuff that is breaking. It's unbelievable the stuff that that's that's coming out i've never seen anything like it unbelievable yeah 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 and, yeah it just seems dip, like a, like like you were saying you know something is is green lighted and it, they're moving the ball further down the field it, it's it's not disclosure but it's 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 some kind of activity the climatization that's yeah, what yeah climatization. climatization i totally agree with you yeah. on that grant that's yeah, perfectly yeah. and yeah, supposed to be some it, big... it plays right into my whole concept of that it's all a mind control op that they started yeah. and they said well let's see how how gullible these people are and what they'll but it's believe all mind control you know yeah it's yeah. All mind yeah. Control. Oh, yeah everything is mind oh exactly control. Yeah. I mean commercials and TV yeah. and 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 how they spin the news and 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 the idea that we need more more and and everything is is people are totally you know sheeples they're just following along they're they're easily manipulated they don't pay attention everybody's busy you know trying to make a living nobody's watching nobody just go along with it. I mean, you, you see what goes on in the world, and you just like. Wow. I know. If you if you pay attention for five minutes a day, you get depressed so long that you can't get out of bed. <laughs> I swear yeah. to God. But you know this. But really... but, but again, I, I, the way I look at it, I'll I'll end like this. I, I look at it. It doesn't matter whether it's all true, whether it's all bad, whether it's all good. It really doesn't matter. It's not what cards. You, you are, are dealt to you, it's how you play your cards. So whether it's it turns out all to be really bad stuff, you and I still have to live our lives, and we have to do what we wanted, what we think is right, and that's all we can do. Yeah. We can't really control what what other people are doing because it's all about what cards are dealt to that's us. That's true. One you other guys, thing um, um, that it, it, Melinda, is curious that Melinda, the show's going to end in one minute, so uh, oh. say what you got to say. And wrap it up. Tell us a well, secret. Uh, some uh, secret. Tell you us guys secret. I touched upon this before I got on, but you know, there, the current interest in this group is, is very much focused also not only on the technology, but also on abductees and their uh, 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 genetics, their DNA, and their yeah. psi abilities. And yep. uh, I'm not sure, Grant, if you covered that before I got on, but that's a, a big part of their interest yeah. as well. Yeah, but I contacted them and they absolutely will not. I had uh, very high-level people who offered to help, 
they are not talking. They're that's um, it's leaked out, but but they're not talking about it. So yeah. Um, yeah. Well, as you two both that know, is, my big theory about this whole thing is it goes back to – I always tell everybody it's all connected, and it goes back, and I keep fighting the JFK thing, but I'm telling you guys, that's when they really ramped it up, is when they realized they can kill the President of the United States and cover it up, they knew they had the UFO thing down to a science by then. You know, it's just it, – it, there's no oh, way yeah. – that these guys haven't been in the game for a very long time, and I'm still going to bring this out. I don't like the fact that there, we still have the dark underbelly of these guys running around hurting people in our community and getting away with it. That bothers me oh, yeah. immensely, you know. Of and, course. Uh, well, there, you so, know, you know, a, a lot of harm has been done to keep these secrets, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah, and that bothers All me. secrets, all secrets. Yeah. 